It's a team approach also with cranberries in Massachusetts, apples in New York, and squash in Connecticut. And all of us involved in these different states are cooperating on several research projects so that we can get a better understanding of pollination across the whole region. Certainly all those crops must be pollinated in order to set a fruit. That's right. They are totally dependent on insect pollinators for fruit production, and most of the insect pollinators in our region are bees. So we know a lot of growers use commercial honeybees or bumblebees to pollinate their fields, um, but there's a lot of interest in being able to use native bees as um, an extra form of insurance in case you have bad weather and the, the bees aren't really moving around, and also just to um, have a little bit of your, more of your operation under your own control. We have worked with bumblebees, uh, the alfalfa leaf cutter, uh, mainly, and, and we brought in package bees and, and tried various things just in case uh, honeybees ever become scarce. Okay, so John, you can see that um, once we get outside of the boundaries of the field and into the edge, you can see that there are still blueberries growing on the edge here. Right. And then in addition, there are a lot of the forest species which offer forage to many of the native bees, such as this cherry. In any given year now, over 70,000 colonies of honeybees are brought into Maine for blueberry pollination. That's correct. We have the, the second largest uh, state uh, for the utilization of bees. E each hive produces about 1,000 pounds per acre, and before we began bringing these bees in, our crop was only about uh, 20, 000, 20 million pounds. And uh, with each of the hives, uh, we can increase the production at least a thousand pounds an acre honeybees. This is an experiment that looks at the behavior of bees, especially native wild bees, of which Maine has about 265 species. And we're interested in what the bees will do when they're offered flowers of different species of plants. Overall, we hope that this would lead to a buildup of the populations of the native wild bees. Pollination is a very complex, dynamic process, and it can be affected by most things that growers do, but also things even that beekeepers might do can affect the final outcome of pollination.